There's so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. But, uh, <clears throat> apparently not. The Resolute is primarily a research vessel, if that's what you mean. Not a warship. Although, she has been known to hold her own in a fight. Against what? Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Tacon Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps... ultimately our downfall. I can't say that we avoid conflict entirely, but we overcome our differences because of our common interests and a shared sense of purpose. A general belief we are better off united than divided. A concept almost draconian in principle. We're more alike than you might think. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No. I'm right here. Completely in my mind. Given this is merely a research ship, I won't be able to find him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. I can't promise anything, but... Let me see what I can do. Just know, without it, I won't be able to help you. This isn't gonna fly. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. He's been kind enough to agree to help us find Galvin. I am at your service. To whatever extent I can be of help. If nothing else, I'm sure you're happy for a change of scenery. You spent 600,000 years at your post. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for... what, exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An Empire that no longer exists. Which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. And we do need your help. Absolutely. And we are grateful that you decided to come. And your captain has an odd way of expressing his gratitude. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Takan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Takan, not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name reputation and don't deserve to be called to con that's why i'm here and if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems we can get on with it and you can stop wasting my time access to our systems that's completely out of the question tell me that's not what you promised we're vulnerable enough as it is and now we're supposed to give him access to everything i didn't promise him anything she made no guarantees whatsoever. I never imagined offering to help would be met with such ignorance. 
If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the Scions pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Rydek, a word. To think I waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start. But now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane. And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. We talked about this on Delphi Ardu. The reason he's here is because he's with us, not them. He came to help us. And he wouldn't be here otherwise. We can't afford to get this wrong. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. Captain, you have my word. I will do everything within my power to protect you. I appreciate that. It's not just my career on the line here. It's both of ours. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I found will something. There you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades Cluster. I'll let the captain know. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades Cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar. Set a course for the Palisades Cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. You always have my back. They say the true measure of a leader is being able to admit your mistakes. So thank you. Next time I'll do a better job of listening. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But... They have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device, and I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions, or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. 
My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. Is there another Takan on this ship? The science could have someone on this ship doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Hmm, there's a lot of noise in here. I should scan the device putting out the most radiation to filter it out. That's better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. A little bit of harmless radiation leakage here, but enough to mask the tetrametric pulses. Easy enough to cancel out. There's still something drowning out the tetrametric radiation. I need to find it so I could filter it out as well. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. Found it. Excuse me. Do you belong here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. Paul. Calloway, right? Yes. I... You know, it means a lot that you remembered. What, uh... Are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but... First officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. Just a routine systems check. We've been having problems with our comms lately. Oh, that's news to me. I haven't heard anything about it. Probably because the comm system isn't working. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but... Maybe someone else noticed something? That would be great. Just be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. Maybe Tylus saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's something happening. I may need your help. This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. 
Does that mean there's a scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. Someone evaded detection and planted that device. Which would mean they've been with us this whole time. Watching, listening. All the more reason why we have to find them. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. I would feel more comfortable if you did. I understand. Clear. Now it's your turn. Sure. Clear. Don't sound so surprised. You spend plenty of time with the Scions as well. You never know. Let's get to it. The search starts in engineering. Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. Mm, that helps. I'll filter out the duplicates. Now this is manageable. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Let's see who's left. No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. According to this, he was here while you went down to Delphi Ardu 4. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. I've known Captain Solano for almost my entire life. I wouldn't be here. Or who I am. Without his help and guidance. If this is true. If they really got him. Then this is just devastating. I know it doesn't look good, but we don't know for sure. Not yet. What happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent would always come up. There was nothing she could do. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to Portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I've found the device. Interference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits? Based on their current trajectory, that's Galvin's destination. And legend tells us it's the location of what was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. We have to somehow intercept him. How long till he arrives? Oh, he's much too far ahead of us. We'll never arrive before he does. If Galvin and the other Scions secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Takan were as gods keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. It's highly likely it was placed here by a scion 
hidden among your crew, and it is unlikely this interference device was the Cyan Saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvan and the Saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. I don't know for sure. We're still investigating. And we're losing valuable time. Bioforming was so rare in the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect if it has taken place. Whoever you suspect. Proof is something you will have to provide on your own. I'll have it. Once I've bioscanned the person I suspect. I just need to visit Dr. Duval. That's quite the claim. Last time we spoke, you called this kind of talk mutiny. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. That would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. If you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your career. I am. I have to be. Good. You know what this is going to take. I'm in. But we can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim. Or this could all blow up in our faces. Uh, you better think long and hard about who you can trust. Enhancements must be able to brute force limited bursts of warp output. Yeah, but they won't get to wherever they were headed at this rate. They're just limping along now. So where does that put us? Maybe I can answer that. I got the ship's heading. They've changed course. Drastically. Looks like they're headed here. The Usonia system. They might stop there. Can we use the Zeldi's comms to signal your fleet? Our comm systems are locked. Grab hold! barely keep up. If they keep forcing this ship to make these short warp jumps, they're going to tear it apart. Zeldi is still made by a Lydian hand, despite all this to calm corruption. Whoa. We just gotta stay safe until Starfleet can find us. Your people, is there somewhere you go when you die? Life after death? No. On my home world, some people think they can cheat death in a way by joining with the Trill symbiont. But that's not a life to me. Hmm. What about you? Is there another plane of existence for you? With every passing battle. I believe there's an afterlife. You do? Yeah. Then you should understand this. 
My people have a special journey. When Alidians die, we rejoin our comrades, family, and ancestors. On the parade grounds of Cirella? That is just one part of it, but yes. Death is not the end for us. So, even if some part of Itasca remains, by letting the Dakarn use her body, at best we are delaying the inevitable next step for her. At worst, we are leaving her as a prisoner in her own mind. You want to save the transformed. So do I. Now that I've seen it happen, does it make me a hypocrite to say he has a point? What if we can't get them back? We can't leave them like that, right? I think Itasca would want to be released. I know it's awful to think about, but... If they're still alive, we can still try to help them. We lose that option once they're dead. I had a sister. A twin. It's very rare among the true. You never told me that. She was one of the youngest hosts to ever join with the Symbian. A sentient creature that lives in our body. It's considered a great honor. The Symbian can bring centuries of knowledge and wisdom to the host. But sometimes, the Symbian personality suppresses the host entirely. My sister was the closest person in the world to me. I knew she would be different after joining. But she drew more and more distant. The room we shared growing up was foreign to the both of us. And eventually, she, or whoever she'd become, cut me out entirely. So I left for Starfleet and swore I'd never go back. I couldn't stand the thought of seeing her. Someone who looked like my sister. So, losing Miranda like this, it opened an old wound. Never really closed up in the first place. You remind me of Vitaska. I do. Bonds are not made by what runs through your veins, but the blood you spill together. Itasca was my family in that way. I want you to know there is nothing I won't sacrifice to win this fight. But if we're lucky enough to survive, I'd be honored if you'd count me as one of your tribe. As Itasca was. Even a couple of engineers like us? You are... many things. I don't need to wait that long. We've bled together. No one else will know what we've been through. That makes us a tribe. Right here. I'll take that. Will they not cease this madness? What is this place? Is that... the Veskar? Another one of yours? Not anymore. They've corrupted it. Just like the Zeldi. Now there are two ships. Did this just get better... or worse? It certainly doesn't bode well for the crew of the Veskar. So many lives... stolen. We're really at the heart of this fight now. We just gotta figure out what we're gonna do about it. This doesn't look like the Ophelia. What are they doing here? You don't think they're just meeting their buddies? Maybe, but... Then why are their buddies here? Prepare for transfer. The storm! It's back! What happened? Hold on. Scanning. Astrometric radiation is dropping. The Zeldi's dropped to minimal power levels. It's running off just the one warp core now. That means... They've sent the cartabula to that other ship. Something wrong, Captain? No, nothing's wrong. In fact, I was just going to call for you. I'm needed down in engineering. 
The bridge is yours. Lieutenant Bedrosian, a word, please. Yes, Commander. What can I do for you? Listen, the captain may have been compromised. What? I have every reason to believe he has been bioformed and is now actively working against us. Hold on. This makes no sense. Did Portal do something to you? I'm dead serious. Someone is sabotaging the mission. They planted a Taconian device in engineering. Captain Solano was in engineering while we were on Delphi Ardu 4, and he purposely evaded Dr. Duval's bioscan. He's not Captain Solano anymore. He's a scion. Which would make you captain. So you're saying you're taking command of the ship? Because if you are, that's one hell of a bold move. And you better be absolutely sure you have your facts straight. With your help and your backing, yes, I have to. I'm not signing myself up for mutiny. I have Duval's support. We're going to ask the captain to undergo a bioscan. When he refuses, I need you to back me up. Back when we were on the shuttle, you chose my safety over the lives of a dozen Elidians. I've wondered again and again if I deserved that. If you made the right call. But if it's why I'm here now, able to help you save the Resolute, maybe the whole Federation, then I'm glad you did. So, my answer is yes. I'm with you no matter what. When do we act? Now. Dr. Duvall is already on the bridge. All right. I'm ready. Now or never. Captain Solano. Commander Rydek, we need to talk about... Doctor? What brings you to the bridge? Just a bit of housekeeping. You owe me a bioscan, Captain. I don't have time for that right now. It will only take a moment. Uh... I can't put this off any longer. You can, and you will. All you'll find is that I'm quite reasonably under stress given the circumstances, and you aren't making it better. I'll find you in sickbay when I'm good and ready. Or, if you're gonna stand in the way of the mission, I can find you in the brig instead. Please, Captain. Denied. Remember your station. Commander Rydek is right, Captain. We all have to follow the rules. What is this? We need you to comply with the scan, Captain. That's enough. Drop this. All of you. I'm giving you a direct order, Commander Rydek. Stand down and go back to your post. Now. Do not make me tell you again. I've been a starship captain since before you were in the Academy. I refuse. So do the others. Well then, you've left me no choice. Security to the bridge. Arrest Commander Rydek. Take her to the brig. On what charge? Conspiring with the enemy and mutiny. Get back. 
Give her a chance to speak. Let's hear what she has to say. That's enough, Lieutenant Bedrosian. Step aside or you'll join her in the brig. No. This is not Captain Solano. He's been bioformed. He's a scion. You're out of your mind. She can prove it. He sabotaged our efforts to track Galvin with this. He planted it in engineering while we were down on Delphi Ardu 4. Lies! Perpetrated by the only Chakan in our midst, Portal 6-3. He's actively trying to divide us from within. Captain Solano has refused to be bioscanned because he knows it will reveal he's a scion. Take her to the brig or I'll do it myself. Wait, stand down. That's an order. What is the meaning of this? Everyone hold until we get answers. This cannot happen on the bridge of a Federation starship. I can prove I'm right if you just give me a chance. If I'm wrong, then I will face the consequences. If you're wrong, there's no coming back from this. I'm going to settle this once and for all. Commander Rydick was right. Captain Solano has been compromised. He's been bioformed into a Takan. As the chief medical officer of the USS Resolute, I'm relieving Captain Zachary Solano of command. Take him to the brig. I don't know what I expected, but not this. I can't believe I shot the captain. I... I don't think Starfleet likes it when you do that. Even when you're right. It doesn't look good. I might not be alive if you hadn't. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Set course for the Usonia system. Maximum warp. It's time to face Galvin. Yes, Commander. Sorry. Captain. On your command. Make way. Maximum, but with the algorithms compromised, they may not do much. Captain, that other Elidian ship is here. The Zeldi?
are outnumbered. Captain, your orders. Evasive maneuvers. Aye, Captain. The Veskar's warp engines are powering up. Our warp engines are offline. That must have been their goal. They didn't want us to chase the Veskar. According to my readings, they also took the Cartabula with them. They're not breaking off. We have to destroy the Zeldi before it destroys us. With Diaz and Edsalar still over there? They'll need to evacuate. <sighs> Come on. I almost have it. They gotta know we're here. Hurry! You got it? Got it! Diaz to Resolute! We read you, Diaz. This is Armat. It's good to hear your voice. Is Edsalar... Is she with you? Everyone wants to know. She's right here. She can tell you herself. I'm not dead yet. Very good, Petty Officer. Can you get us out of here? I can't transport you out while the Zeldi's shields are up. Our phaser fire won't even get through. Is there another way off that ship? We'll find a way. Whatever you do, you'll have to be quick about it. Because we can't give you much more time. We can't evade the Zeldi forever. Understood. Diaz out. We're gonna have to get out of here the old-fashioned way. Lydian ships have no escape pods. We can leave out that cargo bay we transported to before. Then there's the vacuum of space to contend with. Those freight containers. Maybe we could use those to make an escape pod? Is that even possible? We're gonna make it possible. Unless you have a better idea. Let's go. I've polarized the hull plating. That should allow us to take a few more hits. Enemy phaser impact dissipated. Heading, Captain? Attack pattern Beta-3. Circle around that asteroid and come back firing. Aye, Captain. Zeldi, in range. Zeldi shields down to 82%. We're doing damage, but they're hitting us right back. We'll run out of hull before we penetrate their shields. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I can modify your impulse engines to amplify their meager output and avoid more of their attacks. But I will need full access to your propulsion system. That goes against dozens of Starfleet regulations. Not a security risk if the alternative is destruction. To me, it's simple. You can take this beating and hope you can weather it. Or will you put your trust in me? I've left everything behind for you. The least you can do is put your faith in me. Commander Ermot, give Bortle access to the propulsion systems. You're going to have the ship in your hands. Don't let me down. This will take a moment. Your ship has let up its fire. That gives us some time. 
All right. One of these freight containers should do the trick. Be quick. We need one big enough for all of us to fit inside. Something we can make airtight. Damn it. Not this one. Not enough room for the big guy. Oh, here we go. This will work. That's great, but it's not airtight yet. No problem. We'll just seal it up. This container is extremely heavy. Even with the containment field open, it won't leave the bay quickly. I'll find something to accelerate our exit. Glancing blow. Very little damage. I cannot keep this up for long. Their phaser banks are recharging. Now's our window. We have to strike back. I agree. Their next barrage could be our last. Better make this count. Target their weapon systems. Take the teeth out of their bite. That could make them run. Just like the Veskar, we'd lose Diaz and Edzalar again. Hit their engines. We've already lost the Veskar. We need to protect ourselves first. Target their propulsion systems. I don't want them going anywhere. Targeting their engines. now these will give us the push we need those are explosives we'll ride the blast right out of here all set i'll set the containment field to deactivate and then run back we can detonate by remote we'll need to seal the doors from inside the container once we do before all the air sucks out of the cargo bay She's not a threat. It's now or never. This ship can't fly. Sidron set it to self-destruct. Please, Amenta. No. Oh. It's not her. No. I know it's not. Carter, we have to seal the doors. Don't leave me! Get this light bulb off the ship before Sidron blows it all to hell. Come on! Hurry! That's a lot of resolute. I have the awaiting. Go ahead. We're about to exit. We see the cargo bay containment field is deactivated. Get that tractor beam ready. And you should know, the Zeldi is set to self-destruct. If we do enough damage to the Zeldi first, it'll prevent the self-destruct sequence from completing. We can't wait any longer. We have to fire. Captain, they're almost out of there. We need to act fast. Hold all fire! Get out of there, Petty Officer. Do it now! You heard her. Done! Ready? Detonate! We're out. 
I have them on sensors. Tractor beam activated. Locked on and ready to fire. Fire! Tractor beam's locked on. We have them. They'll be pulled into the docking bay shortly. There's something else. I tracked a transporter signal to the planetoid moments before the Zeldi detonated. Sidron. There's a Takan structure there. It's the reason they were here. It's the reason we are here. Now. I have to see it for myself. We'll go there together. I had assumed as much. Is this the Takan arsenal Galvin was after? Legend says this region once held the sacred mysteries of the Takan Empire. Our greatest treasure. Our most fearsome technology. I want a full security detail. Westbrook, Bredrosian, you're with me. Mr. Ermont, you have the con. Wait. <clears throat> you're not the first officer anymore. The captain is supposed to stay with the ship. I'm surprised Lieutenant Bedrosian didn't raise that first. I thought Captain Rydek knew what she was doing. That's the protocol. But it's also a captain's prerogative to break that protocol. I suppose it is. We'll deal with the first officer vacancy when we return. Until then, Mr. Ermont? Yes, Captain. <laughs>